Okay, so you're going to have these files here, these ones. The first one you're going to want to download is this one, DLC X Live Removal. That'll give you this. Inside here is a file called this. You're going to want to copy this folder, this DLC folder here. So then you'll have this in your this the Steam Fable directory. It's right there. Open that. You won't have uh, these these top three yet, but you'll have this one directly into the Steam Steam directory, and it goes. Um, then you're gonna want to download the next one, which will be this one. It's the xlive.dll.xlive.ini. Go into here, copy these two files directly into the root of it. I'm gonna open this one. It should already be set to 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, but if it's not, you're gonna want to go to here. You can either type it in or if you want to double check everything, because as far as I can tell, this seems to be the, the standard profile one ID. Uh, but if not, if you go to here into C, users, your username, save games, line of studios. Uh, take a back over this, by the way, if you're doing any um, save save modifications. Uh, go into here, and you're going to want, want this. So just copy this file name here and uh, drop it directly onto here. Save it, close it down. Um, if you have this installed, Games for Windows Live, because I know some people actually um, install Games for Windows Live for the case of playing multiplayer and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, you are going to have to uninstall that. I know that some people also have it installed for stuff like, um, like GTA 4 and stuff, but unfortunately, um, this isn't going to work if you have that installed. So you are going to want to uninstall this, gain some Windows Live if you have it installed um, and then drop these in. So, final piece of the puzzle is this stuff. The actual DLC itself, this is getting downloaded directly from uh, the Xbox website, the Microsoft website. Um, so when you download them, the file is going to be called this. Um, so like this like long like string of characters and then dot .cabinet. Uh, you're going to want to extract that and you're going to want to rename the folder because the folder is going to be called this and you're going to want to rename it to match these here so you're going to have this one is going to be called 01 understone uh, 02 traitors keep and then 03 inquisitors pack um, and then all you do is rename those uh, that's the contents of the of the folder and then once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Uh, and then if I go into here, you can see that if I go over here, I've got all the different dogs. Doberman, Poodle, Clockwork Dog. If we go into here, you can see that I've got all like the um, the different uh, DLC weapons so over here there's like Gus Gets Musket and stuff like that they're all here nothing to worry about in there and then if we go into the clothing area go into say facial hair tattoos, clothing go scroll through the clothing so uh, find one of the actual DLC ones for starters do, 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 do. Well, the Sam Fury you get from Understone, I think, and that's that's in the Understone DLC. Um, dog suit, uh, clockwork armor, the Yule hat if you really want it. Uh, Barstone soldier outfit, the uh, the Highlander stuff. You've got all the die DLCs. That's these ones along the bottom. I'm pretty sure. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if I go onto the map, if I scroll all the way down here, there's Clockwork Island, a Traitor's Keep is there, Raven's Got Keep, the Godwin Estate. Uh, I should also be able to teleport to Understone. Oh no, Understone isn't isn't a teleport location. You have to actually walk to it. It's in Old Well. It links Barstone Industrial and Old Quarter together. Uh, but you can't actually teleport to it, but it is, it is there, um, and that is pretty much 
everything. Brilliant.